Hey, what is going on, people? My name is Sana, and welcome to Crypto Bible. Hope you guys are having a lovely morning, whether you're at work or chilling at home. Hope you're having a good day. Regardless, I've got a busy schedule uh, ahead of me today. Going to be recording quite a few videos for you guys. Um, how about before I get the first one out? And I found this article for you guys regarding HMRC. Um, and uh, yeah, it was just a pretty interesting read, to be honest with you. So I just wanted to go through that with you. I will be getting quite a few other videos out for you guys today. It's also my crypto pick of the week in my live stream tonight. So please be sure to join me there. And uh, yeah, I suppose without further ado, let's just get straight into it, guys. So UK tax authority gathering customer data from crypto exchanges. HMRC has been clamping down on crypto exchanges to share information about their customers. Now, one thing that I know as a fact is that whenever you do download any exchange, any crypto exchange, they are literally required to give any information that your tax authority require. No matter what country you are in, if you have to pay crypto, if you have to pay tax on your crypto in that country, then whatever your tax authority require, your exchange is obliged to literally give them whatever they want, okay? And obviously, throughout the past few weeks, we've been getting a lot of regulatory issues. Um, so for them to be doing this as well, it's obviously, you know, clamping down on it even more. Um, so we'll keep reading, and then I'll just give a quick opinion on something that I have to tell you guys. So the UK Tax Authority, Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs, or HMRC, is gathering customer data from cryptocurrency exchanges, both at home and overseas, according to data obtained by London law firm Gerson Solicitors under the Freedom of Information Act. Recently, HMRC has begun clamping down on exchanges in the UK, using its statutory powers to obtain information about the platform's customers. However, according to Gerson solicitors, the authority has also requested data from tax authorities overseas, as it is mandated to do under international law. And again, I suppose the reason why they are doing that is because a lot of people have this thought that if they move to a different country, and they live in this different country, they can automatically straight away um, just not pay any tax. So Portugal is a very good example. There's no crypto tax in Portugal, I believe. Um, so people are thinking to move over to Portugal just to simply pay no tax. But in reality, you can't actually do that um, unless you've been living there for a very long time. But if you've brought your, your crypto in the UK, OK, and then you move to Portugal, let's say, and then two months later, you decide to withdraw. It just doesn't work like that. There's so many things, conditions that you need to read about. But obviously, HMRC are probably realizing that a lot of people might be doing this um, and they're clamping out, clamping, clamping out. They are um, they're literally clamping down um, on things like this as well. So it's something that they, they definitely understand is going on. So. They say it may be news to some that they are doing this in conjunction with powers outside of the United Kingdom and in fact gathering data internationally, said Thomas Catty, white collar crime lawyer at Gerson Solicitors, while urging anyone likely affected to take legal advice. Crypto assets are treated as a personal investment in the UK and any profits are liable to tax. Cryptocurrency received from mining, airdrops and as payment for services also incurs a tax charge. In March, HMRC updated its tax advice to include cryptocurrency staking, which is broadly treated in a manner similar to mining. So again, guys, for those of you that do not know, I did make a video on tax, on how to literally, you know, do all of your tax, especially in the UK, anywhere in the world. But, you know, especially for the guys in the UK, um, you can watch that video and, um, and literally learn everything from it. I use a website which literally calculates all of your tax for you so you don't have to do it. And you can even include things such as um, airdrops, um, staking rewards, anything else included. You can include them in there. So watch that video. I'll leave it in a link in the description below. It is, it is very, very helpful. Um, otherwise, if you don't, you would have to get an accountant. It will be a lot of money for them to go through each and every transaction. And you could end up paying the wrong amount of tax or you could end up paying too much tax. Um, so definitely watch that video. I'll leave it in a link um, in the description for you guys. It's Karen having a, having a quick read. So HMRC demands all personal data. The UK's financial regulators have proved wary of embracing cryptocurrencies, which experts say reflects concerns about the industry's ability to enforce compliance. 
HMRC's moves can thus be seen not just as a tax gathering exercise, but as part of more concerted clampdown on the industry. The authority has further confirmed that the personal data gathered in the form of names and addresses is about customers who are both one-time and regular crypto exchange users, according to the new disclosures. HMRC is also gathering information about the frequency of transactions and the value of clients' crypto holdings, Gerson's solicitor said. The firm added that exchanges that have already provided this information for 2017-18 to 2019-20, the UK tax year runs from April to April, but the tax man wants more and has requested bulk data for the same period. Having flexed its muscles, HMRC is now poised for 2020 to 2021 with when cryptocurrencies saw massive gains. Tax-wise, that's going to be doozy. So, yeah, there you go, guys. I mean, um, what can I say? All I could really say is just pay your taxes. Um, you know, I've been in crypto for a long time now, and I've, I've, well, a lot, a lot less than some other people, but still a while. Um, and I've been getting so many different opinions um, and statements on on what people want to do with their tax for the people in the UK, especially, right? I mean, you've got one person saying they're just not going to pay it. You've got one person saying they're going to move country. And then you've got another person saying that, you know, they're just going to pay part of it. Like, what I don't get is just why you wouldn't pay the entire thing. And I'm probably going to get, you know, a lot of comments on this video regarding the situation with what you are deciding to do. However, for myself, I am just going to be straight up. I am just going to pay my tax. Like I said, there is a website which everyone can use, which I will leave in the description below. Um, go watch that video and you can literally sort all of your tax out. Because imagine this, imagine if you've been in crypto for a year, how many transactions with you have done on Binance, for example. You would literally need to download every single trade you have done, including losses, gains, anything. You'd have to download every single transaction, which could be thousands of them. You would need to go through every single one. You'd need to calculate if you made a profit or a loss on each one, okay? And then you would need to then calculate how much tax you owe. Now, if you were to hire an accountant to do that, that's going to take them a lot of time, hence then costing a lot of money. So this video that I made is very important for people to watch. And this whole article that I just read, it also goes with the fact that people should just pay their taxes and you know when the time comes of course pay your taxes and just get it done with because they are clamping down on these things hmrc is obliged to get any information from any exchange in the uk and they will because they're allowed to because they the exchanges have to give it to them so please make sure that you are taking this quite seriously it is actually quite a serious article um and serious news really so Maybe this could be a wake up for you if you're thinking about doing something else. You know, I would just do the smart thing, do the right thing and just just pay your taxes and get it over and done with, you know, when the time comes. Um, but yeah, all the information about tax, I'll leave in the description below in that video. I tried to cover everything in there, step by step, easy tutorial on what you need to do to sort all of that out. So hopefully it'll help you out. Uh, leave a comment if you did actually go to that video and watch it. Leave a comment on that video just so I know you've watched it, man. It'll be cool to see. Otherwise, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, please leave a like if you have. Subscribe if you haven't already. Please make sure your notifications are turned on to make sure you're getting any updates. And uh, yeah, join the Discord. Link is in the description below, guys. So I'll see you guys soon. Take it easy.